Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss the real number system. By definition, the real number system is the set of numbers containing all of the rational numbers like natural or counting, whole and integers. Also, all the irrational numbers. Moreover, the set of real numbers are all the numbers found on the number line. So, among the mentioned types, the first set of numbers that we have learned is the natural numbers. During our childhood days, we were first taught by our parents to count from 1 to 10, or sometimes 1 to 100. That set of numbers is what we call counting numbers or natural numbers. Its elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Now, natural numbers except 1 may either be prime or composite. When we say prime numbers, these are numbers with exactly two factors, 1 and itself, like 2, 3, 5, and others. Factors of 2 are 1 and 2. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. Meanwhile, composite numbers are numbers with more than two factors, like 4, 6, 8, and others. Factors of 4 may be 1 and 4. Another is 2 and 2. Now, in the case of 1, it is neither prime nor composite. So, after natural numbers is the set of whole numbers. Set of whole numbers is simply the union of zero and the natural numbers. In layman's term, it is the counting numbers with zero. Elements are zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, and so forth. Next to whole numbers is the set of integers. This set of numbers comprises the set of negative and positive numbers with zero. In short, it is the union of negative numbers and whole numbers. Mathematicians created this set to represent loss or deficit. Its elements are from negative infinity and so on, then negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, up to positive infinity. Now after integers, we have the set of rational numbers. These are numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers where the divisor or the denominator is not equal to zero. In symbols, if A and B are integers and B is not equal to zero, then A over B is a rational number. Also take note that every rational number can be written in fraction form or decimal form. As an example, the fraction 1 fourth is a rational number. When changing this to decimal, here we will divide 1 by 4. By adding zeros after the decimal point and continuous division, the quotient is 0 0.25 or 0 and 25 hundredths, which is also a rational number. Another example is the decimal 0 and 625 thousandths. This number is a rational number. Changing this to fraction, that will be 625 divided by 1,000. Now, since both numerator and denominator are divisible by 125, dividing 625 by 125, the quotient is 5. 1,000 divided by 125, the quotient is 8. Thus, the decimal 0 and 625 thousands is the same as the fraction 5 over 8. And clearly, 5 over 8 is also a rational number. Now, these first two decimal examples, 0 and 25 hundredths and 0 and 625 thousands, are called terminating decimals. These are decimals that have finite or countable number of digits. On the other hand, 
Decimals with infinite repeating digits are called repeating decimals. Here, the number that repeats is called repetend. As an example, the fraction two-third when changed into decimal will be 0 0.666 and so on and so forth. Here, we may put a bar on top of the repetend, which indicates that the value will repeat infinitely. Hence, we can rewrite this as 0 0.6 vinculum. Another example is 7 over 33. Doing the previous procedure to change this fraction to decimal, we will divide the numerator by the denominator. So we will add 0 after the decimal point. By continuous division, the quotient is 0 0.21, 21, 21, and so on and so forth. Here, the repetend is the number 21. So we will put vinculum on number 21. Now, although the decimal numbers 0 0.6 vinculum and 0 0.21 vinculum are non-terminating, they are still rational numbers because the terms are repeating and can still be written in fraction form. After rational numbers, let's go now with the irrational numbers. The set of irrational numbers is the set of numbers which cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. These numbers are equivalent to non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Examples are square root of 2, which has a value of approximately 1.41421 and so on. Also, an example is the symbol pi. We say that it is a ratio of the circumference and diameter. Its value is approximately 3.14159265 and so on. To summarize, the set of real numbers is the combination or union of rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers is the set of numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers, A over B, where B is not equal to zero. The subsets of rational numbers are the set of natural or counting numbers. These are the numbers from 1 to infinity. Another is the set of whole numbers. Characteristic is like natural numbers but with the inclusion of 0. Next is the set of integers or the signed whole numbers. And then the set of rational or non-integers like fractions, decimals, and percent. There we may have terminating repeating decimals. For the set of irrational numbers, it is simply the set of numbers that cannot be expressed as ratio. These are the numbers which are non-terminating and non-repeating like pi, square root of 2, square root of 5, and others. Thank you for watching. God bless.